Well, this is gonna be the Seahawks. Lime green highlighters. There'll be 11 of them out there. They'll be taking on the Atlanta Falcons with I Love God, and here we go. I'm just thinking, how do you get your sunroof to be flawless? If it doesn't leak, it's flawless. I've had a lot of unflawless sunroofs in my life. And, and this, is a, this is a precious situation for, you know, I love God. I mean, obviously, you're the favorite going into this. People are going to expect you to win. And sometimes those are scary situations to be in, man. You, you, I had to hydrate, man. I'm telling you, it's been a long day. Nervous for him. <laughs> Look at her. She, she's waiting to, waiting to pick her place. She's going coach suggestions here. Z zero, zero. Opening play here. Let's see what Flawless has here on first and ten. Sitting back in coverage. It's like a cover four, and that'll work against the run. A little hurry up offense right here for my love God. And, and he'll use a timeout here. I'm telling you, when you when you don't know a lot about your opponent, it's a scary place to be. It, 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 one thing, if you're I love God, that you feel good about it is she is picking her plays, you know, by coach suggestions, which, you know, I, I get it. You, you know, it's tough, but not something you usually see from the high-level competitors. And then she's controlling her defense alignment. So if you're I love God, these are good signs for you. Ryan, I like when I'm playing online, you know, I, I shouldn't use the identifier, Kim, because you only get three. <laughs> yeah. But when you see somebody on the line, you're like, all right. We'll be okay here. We'll be okay, especially in the passing game. We'll be okay. And I love God. Go straight to that passing game. Uh, the one thing you, you got to be careful about if you're I love God is that Bobby Wagner with that X right under him. Uh, whether he's user controlled or AI control, he can make some big he's plays. Tough. Real tough. And you have to avoid him at all costs. There's a hurry up. Second and in inches after Freeman. Flowers on the tackle, and then they'll go to Freeman again, and he'll. Move the sticks. How about this no huddle Atlanta offense? We haven't seen a lot of the Falcons. Pounding this rock. And there's Freeman once again running game. Now you, got, you do have Julio. Obviously Matt Ryan, very serviceable. You see what Freeman's doing. On the defensive side, you got some nice pieces as well, including Jones at middle linebacker, who's got a lot of speed. Oh, Deion Jones. The Falcons on defense, they got a ton of speed. Vic Beasley, Grady. Uh, a low quan. Um, Keanu Neal's got that enforcer ability. Falcons got underrated defense. Well, I love God's on the offensive side of the ball right now. On a big drive, the opening drive of the game. And they'll pitch it outside to Green, and Green, that's what he's got in front of him, touchdown. This is history in the making. I love what Flawless Sunroof is doing here. It, it, it's super inspirational. You hope to see more of it. But she's going up against a heavy hitter right now. <laughs> I, I, I'm a little worried for her. I mean, the female fan base in the NFL is huge. My wife's probably a bigger football fan than I am, to be honest. And I'm surprised it's taken this long. I, I, what, my, my dream scenario is I would love for the competitive gaming to, to get to a point, um, you know, where we're seeing maybe uh, all female brackets. Maybe it's a 40 and over bracket, a 30 and over oh, bracket. Oh, you're just trying to make a league for us, the, the hey, old guys. How, how all hey, in would hey, we I be? need it. I need a 30 need or it. over league, man. I need it. I tell you what, the, the cool thing, you know, I, I obviously I broadcast a lot of what I call sports, esports, you know, competitive gaming that are on sports titles, they are the most diverse from all the other esports that I call. And that's that's just a cool factor about broadcasting these kind of games. I will, I will tell you, my guy Mine, um, he, he's a streamer and a, and a competitive player as Sunroof running the ball good. Um, his girl points. 
She's no slouch on the sticks either. I, I've seen her in a tournament. Uh, sadly, they couldn't be here with us, but maybe one day we get the, the flawless sunroof points matchup. Settle this thing of uh, who's got Madden supremacy for the females. First Shout out ten. to mine in points. Wilson. Dot. Dot by Sunroof. Drops it in for a seven yard gain. That's going to break up a second and three. If she puts together like a solid scoring drive right here, someone got to cut her a check. You're making good decisions. I mean, that's. That's the kind of crispy right now. On of, oh. I, I like Russell Wilson. I, I'm I'm not against this at all. And oh boy, that's Keanu yeah, Neal. That's that talk about that enforcer. <laughs> I'm telling you, Scott. It, 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 especially as we get later in the year and people are playing um, mutt and salary cap. Yep. Look for people to equip that enforcer on their defenders. To me, it's the best ability to really make people pay who try to arm bar you or jukebox you. Because if they try to do it to one of those enforcers, I've chances are they're going to get clapped in the mouth and a uh, good chance to fumble. I forgot oh! all about True Dottie! Thought. But True Dottie! Thought gets oh! by Metcalf. Oh, so Dottrick. Sunroof almost <laughs> took the top off. Look at her swag. I love God was like, wow. And if it wasn't true font, it was a touchdown. It was a touchdown. One of the fastest guys on the field, and she'll punt it away on fourth and three. Metcalf up the seam. I feel like God blessed I love God right there. That was looking like six to me. That was vintage. I like it. Punt will go out of the end zone, bring it out to the 20-yard line. Opening day of Madden NFL 20 Classic. We almost had a tie ball game there. It was just off the fingertips. If you're I love guy, you're, you're, you need points on this possession. You want to just get this to two possessions, give yourself some breathing room. Freeman just running wild right now. Cross midfield plus territory at the 49. We need lights to. Uh, I wonder how the Falcons are going to do this year. You know, in my neck of the woods, it's all about who's better, the Panthers or the Falcons. People ask me, I'll say, yes, I'm a Bears fan. <laughs> and I don't get involved in the rivalry between those two teams. I need lights to get flawless an ebook here, Scott. And the coaching suggestion just ain't it. Your Bears should be pretty good this year, though. But yeah, good season. Pretty enthused. I still think they should have taken Deshaun, but I've gotten over it. Maybe I haven't. And Ridley, Calvin, right up the seam. Beats the cover three for the touchdown. Yeah, you, you, if, if you're sunroof, you, you're just, you're not going to be able to beat a guy like I love God calling coaching. Success. Top 32 player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going to need a little bit more on defense. 14 nothing. Here in Wave D, we've certainly seen some games get out of hand. We're keeping an eye on all the other games we got going on. Nothing Ew. intriguing Ew. yet. Sticky. And there's Scarborough. It's kind of sticky. Take it to the 33-yard line. Often wondered how Scarborough's game would transfer to the next level here in the NFL. Big time back. Hands it off to Carson. They really haven't had a running game since beast mode. I, I will say though, not for playing on a high level, but say you're a beginner Madden player, or you're just starting to dabble into Madden. Um, what Sunroof is doing right here is really good for the beginners. If you don't know about play calling and you're not comfortable selecting a play, you can go to your coach suggestions and the game will suggest a few plays for you based on the situation to you know, try to give you some success. I'm not saying, it's what you should be doing on a competitive level, but uh, if you're trying to get involved in the game, it works, and she's on <laughs> her horse! Carson, and she's going to take it to the 
Crib, oh, touchdown, flawless! Oh! Swagging! Look at her keeping her poise like she's been here before. Chewing the gum, swagging around. I like it. She's like, RG, I got a coach's suggestion for you right now. Sit down. You missed the extra point. Still a one score game. That was tough. That was tight. Great run. That was tight. The chat's got to be feeling it right now. If you're not feeling that, I don't want to do business with you. <laughs> Barna will take it out of his own end zone. Imagine like a Bobby Wagner head stick fumble. Let's go. Six right here. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Are, are you rooting? Are, Look at this rooting work. Oh. now. Oh, get to the numbers. God's diving. He didn't know what to do. Flawless. That was tight. 14 to 6. Time for oh, oh, she God, almost had six of them. Tried to drop it off and nearly got dropped off. Oh, this is getting tight. This is getting kind of tight. I was getting nervous, but all of a sudden, flawless sunroof. She came to play. You can't block me. You can't block me. Ryan will stretch it out. Freeman gets to the outside. We'll pick up the first down. Seven carries for 89 yards. And I love Guy continues just to work this clock. Get out, hell me. Check in on the chat. Got to get out of these coaching suggestions, so we need to see a base defense. Little. I wonder what playbook she's in. I got to know. That's the, that's the one thing that we. Well, there's 500 players. We don't get. <laughs> we don't have a lot of time to run up there and find out who's playing, what playbook, and all that kind of stuff. Sometimes we'll see it when they're jumping into the. You know, to the team selection screen. They're picking their uniforms. You see the playbook sometimes, but it's hard to know until you see one of those signature plays. First and 10. Calvin Ridley solo to the right. Matt Ryan, he's going to throw a screen. Freeman up underneath. First down and more, and there's a fumble. There's, there's, there's the Bobby Wagner. And Flawless has it. It's a turnover. You got to hit that RB button. This is vintage. Bobby Wags, I, I'm telling you, I, I could feel it coming before it happened. Better take this to the crib. Carson. Yeah, when you when you see that X factor coming over, you got to go down. You got to get a bounce or go down. It's funny. The, the, the chat was hating on her. Now she got the fumble. Everyone's nailing it. <laughs> Double tied in. A little motion. We'll hand it off to Carson. He bounces around for a little bit, but Neal's not playing around on the defensive side of the ball. Comes up, makes a big hit, third and seven. Three minutes to go here in the second quarter. Eight point ball game. Go down here and score and maybe tie this thing up before the half. Got a lot of room out on the coverage. Just begging for an RPO. Wilson, quick throw, and there is Myrick. We'll haul it in. This Atlanta secondary is actually pretty good. You got a good defense. Here, I love God. I mean, you're going to be in complete control of this game. You literally just got to make sure. You avoid Bobby Wagner the way she's playing defense because whether he's user controlled or AI controlled, he's going to be able to make plays. He's that good. So you see him get close to you, just got to cover that ball. Should be fine. Oh my God. And there's gosh, Bobby Wagner again. Up. It's the one guy you need to avoid. He's going to have a gamer tag 
next week that says, I love God, but hate Bobby Wagner. I love it. One of the guys in the chat said, go get him icebox. It's a nice little, little, little Giants reference yeah, yeah, right there, the icebox. To the outside there is Hardy, and Hardy will pick up a good chunk of yards down the 26. We're at the two-minute warning. Looking around at some of the other games, nothing too huge going on yet. James will, of course, keep an eye on those, bring us up to date. Now I got him going about the little giants. They're calling for the annexation of Puerto Rico in the chat. We're, I mean, in the top 10 football movies, little giants in there? Little Giants is a classic. Anytime you get Ed O'Neill out there, John Madden makes an appearance, Rick Moranis. That's a classic, Scott. Throws it into coverage. What, what are you guys thinking the chat? I, I, is, is Little Giants top 10 it's got, all Okay, time? it's got to be top 10. Top I mean, 10 football movie We were talking about this before we came on air with, I think Nick and Rico and I were talking about, hey, James, you were back there too. We were talking about, Famous sports movies, got on the football. What's the greatest football movie at all time? Someone said top five, RG. I like it. Calling for the Sandlot. One of the things I got nervous about when they had the VTech was wearing the Dumb and Dumber suit was uh, how many was of just, the guys even know what Dumb and Dumber is? It, it, it's <laughs> a younger generation. I know. To the classic, Scott. You'd be surprised. So you're saying there's a chance. You'd be surprised, man. Some of these guys haven't seen Sandlot. Some of them haven't seen Angels in the Outfield, like the classic classics. Any given Sunday, a lot of Al Pacino, Jamie Foxx, Steven Willie Beeman. Getting Someone in chat help. called us idiots, so. We're right at home. We're right at home right now <laughs> here on day one. And there's a easy pitch and catch for the touchdown. And I love God, now in firm control. Gonna go up 15, pinning the PAT here. Mm, Big Lou 33 calling out Rookie of the Year. That was a classic. But how, a did we, how did I ask what's the best football? And we get Sandlot, Rookie of the Year. Remember the Titans? Remember the Titans is probably number one. The program, that, that that's a gritty football move. The program's not for kids. That's not for kids. That's not a, it's vintage though. Longest yard. The replacements, that's a good one. Falco. Rudy was offsides. That I do know. Oh, stop. The replacements was good. I like that linebacker, Bateman. You want the ball, I'll get you the ball. You want the ball, I'll get you the ball. That's some good stuff. Look at Sunroof. First and 10, we got 65 seconds to go here in the half. Down by 15. Here's the thing. Anybody hating on Sunroof and what she's trying to do, you're just a hater. The she's crazy out. thing is... If you're in the chat, sign up for next year. <laughs> yeah. Let's come on out. <laughs> We'd love to see you. We'd love to have you here. I don't want anybody hating on Sunroof. And... Hands it off to Carson. Carson once again had a big run early. Her run stick's not bad. She's got no, doesn't run hold stick. down the turbo. I mean, that's the number one tip. She's got good. If you're run holding stick. down turbo when you're running, you're doing it wrong. Somebody said unnecessary roughness. That was actually filmed right up in UNT here in North Texas, up in Denton for the Mean Green. Call their home. The, the Big Green, that was a good movie. Had my boy Ham from the Sandlot. It's like we're going to be going into the half here. 21 to 6. I love God with a two-score lead here at the break at Pizza Hut Stadium. Some of our final games of the day. Of course, we'll be here Saturday and Sunday rocking and rolling as things start to get a little bit tougher in this open tournament. Shout out to my guy Juice Plays in the chat. That's the type of support I want to see. He said ma major props to her actually being the first girl in a professional Madden tourney. That's the type of support we're looking for. You guys don't got to be malicious. You don't got to hate. The, the cool thing about this year, I was talking with my guy Joe Lynch, who does a lot of stuff here with all the broadcasting that 
EA Sports does and Electronic Arts in general. And I said, how cool is it that it's the not only the biggest live tournament we've ever had, but the earliest. Yeah. You know, people have got yeah. months to prepare. Like we used to start in October, but now you're in the thick of it. Yeah. Like everyone's almost on a level playing field. You're right, Scott. It's cool, man. And it shows. You, you did it early, and that 512 registration filled up quick. Real quick. <laughs> we had guys... Uh, that, I'll just say it. We've had guys that won belts that weren't able to get signed up. So, some of my guys you learn. Asking about PG-13 on the Madden bus back in the day. She she was a former uh, Madden player. This is all the way back in Madden 08, I believe. She, she was on Madden Nation Season 3, I believe it was. Represented uh, TJ Hushmanzaya. I'm just kidding, Hushmanzada. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little throwback right there. And this one will bounce around. It's off of green. That could have been interesting. Push all the way back at the six yard line. That took a wicked bounce. But I love God in control. Got to get a country girl at one of these tournaments one time. You know, she, she streams some Madden. She's on some squads. And Freeman gets bottled up at the four yard line. That's a loss of two. It's going to make it second and 12. Two, 3.35 to go here in the third. This is the time to send the heat. <laughs> I don't think I Love God's going to throw the football the remainder of the game. He's trying to move on here in day one as Freeman spin his way to the nine yard line. That's going to bring up a third six. He hasn't fully gone into a chew clock yet. Yeah, some of the people in the chat, they, they're calling. They're saying a female versus female game would be super dope. And, and I agree. I, I'm interested to see something like that go down. Third and six. He is open. And Hardy will haul it in and has room. Matt Ryan, seven of nine now, has moved the ball out to the 41. Remember, at one time they were inside their own five. And here's first and ten. Ryan Reed oh, gets the pressure. Oh, no. What are we doing? Sunroof, you had him. And that's going to oh, be gee. an illegal forward pass. Illegal forward pass. It's going to be. Offense. I mean, all types of history getting made at Pizza Hut Stadium today, huh? The first naming rights. It's all 58-yard field goal. Esports, the first Madden female competitor in the MCS playing in the Pizza Hut Stadium. That's one thing she'll have on her resume that a lot of these cats won't is, you know, getting a play in that Pizza Hut Stadium. We said it at the top of the show. Not everyone is going to get a chance to play in that stadium. You pretty much got to be at a live event. Third and nine. Under two minutes to go here in the third. And again, this is a tough draw for poor Sunroof. It's not like she got matched up against, you know, a, a Johnny like Walmart. R yeah, like an RG. An RG. <laughs> She's not playing an RG or Scott Cole out there, I can tell you that. Yeah, I mean, this is the defending Ravens club champion. 21 to 6. I love God trying to. Put this one away, go up three scores. And that'll chew more of that clock. Remember that 40 second play clock. And he's gonna he's gonna come off conservative ball carrier here. I would love it if she switched. I, I do need a female Madden player to rock the icebox name. The icebox. Trying to get people to change their gamer tag. Dog, yeah. And Little Giants, when she comes out, when Becky O'Shea comes out at halftime after they hit the dude and she puts on, you know. The, the, the pain under her eyes, and she gets out there, and she claps Spike. It's motivational stuff. I feel like this movie maybe changed your life. Little Giants. It was up there, man. I feel like on your tombstone, it's going to be a Little Giants quote. One time. You just got to, they, they told you, you just got to come through that one time. First and 10, Freeman. 
bouncing around. We'll get to the 10-yard line. And here's no huddle once again. Trying to get one more play in before the end of the quarter. And put your fours up. We're headed to the fourth quarter here in Arlington, Texas. At the Madden NFL 20 Classic. Presented by Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew. It's been fueling me for our grind today. Uh, some of these movie references in the chat have just been. <laughs> <laughs> Let's check in with James Coe here as this drive's getting capped off. All right, thank you so much, Scott. Let's check in 